Good morning, good morning. It's Dana from Daylight's Resin Art, and I'm pleased to introduce you my newest coasters, Fireglass and Seashell Beach Coasters. And today I made them with special love, with excitement and enthusiasm, and I'm excited to show you exactly how it's made. So here we go. The first thing I did was mix my art resin, part A and part B, hardener and resin, and I mixed it together and poured into a giant 24 ounce cup. And here I am, I poured in a little bit into a paper cup and I used the golden indigo pigment and now I'm about to mix it in. It is a gorgeous deep blue and it reminds me of the depths of the ocean. So we'll see right now once I begin. Just adding a little bit of pigment into the resin. Each mold takes about four ounces of resin. So um, I probably mix way too much, but I just wanted to make sure I had enough because I have to use clear resin in the beginning. So I'll show you that too. So here I are mixing the golden indigo resin with resin and you can see it's like a deep blue it's beautiful i think at least and um here we go so you can mix it at your speed make sure to scrape the sides of the cup so you can get all the pigment mixed inside each re resin inside the resin It's really mesmerizing. Off to the next color. So we get a little bit of resin and pour it into a paper cup. As we can see here. And we get our second pigment, which is Ghost Gold Pearl by Black Diamond Pigments. I pretty much used the rest of that packet because I was running out, but I get good much in there because you want a really opaque look to it. So it isn't like clear, it's more like thicker and a deeper mix. So here we are mixing the ghost gold pearl. As you can see, it's becoming very, very beautiful mixed inside the resin. It's a it's a, like an off-white, it's a pearl, so it's that type of color. And this is what I'll be using for the sand for the beach to mix in with the seashells and the fire glass. Look at that drizzle, man. Come on, isn't that gorgeous? And we're done. Next, we're going to get another paper cup and pour some resin inside for our third color, which will be... My favorite pigment of all time, Bora Bora Blue by Black Diamond Pigments. Look at that. It's such a turquoise, aqua, a beautiful, beautiful color. Wait till you see how it looks when it's mixed in. It's absolutely stunning. Get a spoonful. Well, I use a cocktail spoon, but just a little bit or um, as much as you want, as you desire. But here we are. We're mixing it in. And it is just so, so pretty to me. This is like my favorite blue of all time. And I hope you think it's pretty too. Oh, come on, look at that. I love it so much. Yes, Bora Bora Blue by Black Diamond Pigments. And 
and we're mixing it's my favorite color I swear I just love using this color in anything that I make any art I just love it so much it reminds me of the color blue of the waters here in the Bahamas and oh I just love it and for our final pigment we're going to be using titanium white by golden high flow acrylics so we get a little bit more of resin I'd say about three ounces and we're gonna get that and add some of the titanium white inside of the cup and you're gonna mix that in well as well taking our time to mix it in so it's a nice frothy thick white because this is what I'm going to be using for the waves for each coaster. So we're taking our time and mixing it in until it looks very thick white. It's a very nice white. It's the actual white. It's like titanium white. It's the best white possible, I think. So now we begin. We pour some clear resin in each mold. As much as we could. We don't want to waste any. But I used about 24 ounces of resin for this entire project. I actually did probably too much. I'm just going to show you when we're done with this set but I did extra molds as well for extra pieces, like four of the molds. So I did enough for say eight, nine molds. So yeah. Now we're going to use the heat gun to put, blow all the bubbles out because when you mix it, you create bubbles. So now we're trying to get rid of all those bubbles and we're gonna have a nice clear finish to the resin. Yay, we're beginning. This is the exciting part, guys. So hang on tight. So the first thing we do is we get our ghost gold pearl. And we pinch the cup and we pour a little bit into the first. See, I'm pinching the cup now. I poured too much in. But now we're pinching the cup and we're going to pour it in to our molds, the, onto the top part this is our sand you see so we're just gonna make sure we get it nice around the shoreline okay next we're gonna use a spoon and try to scoop back some of the sand so we can have space for the water And we're going to do the same thing for each mold. <laughs> Make sure you get a nice even shoreline. Make sure it's nice and clean and it's not disorganized like when you pour it in initially. we're going to get our crushed fire glass and crushed seashells from Amazon and seashells from a craft store there they are I put them inside a plastic bag and took them on the patio with a hammer and a t-shirt and I went away and smashed them to itty bits so that they can fit into each mold I think they add a dazzling effect to each coaster and they really show shine for each one. So 
So we take our time and we rest it into the sand. And we do that for each coaster. Now we're going to do is get a spoon and we're going to push back. We're going to put all of the pieces of seashell and fire glass under the resin so that none is poking out and it's a nice flat finish. So we're going to make sure everything's pulled back so we can have space for the water. But we just want to make sure when you walk down the sand, you'll see lots of pieces of fire glass and lots of pieces of seashells. So it's a nice full beach. And we're going to do this for each mold. Covering it up with some of that ghost gold pearl resin mix under on top of the seashells so everything's flat and underneath the resin next we come in with our bore bore blue with our pinch tip and we pour it along the shoreline so this is the like the beginning of the water so where it's that real pretty light blue turquoise aqua color so we're going to make sure we pour it right along the shoreline or even on top of the shore even just so the middle part of the coaster has that bore, the beautiful bore bore blue. Next we get our golden indigo from black diamond pigments and we do the same thing. Be careful not to pour too much resin in because you don't want it to spill out. But this is what we're doing to fill up the rest of the coaster. I'm going to repeat the same thing for each mold. There we go. And each mold is almost full. Next, we're gonna take a spoon and swirl around all of the blues, the bore bore blue and the golden indigo, so it can be it can show some depth. It can be dark, it can be deeper in some spots and more shallow in other spots. We really want them to blend in well and swirl around together so that they can create a nice, beautiful ocean, beach, coaster effect. Taking our time and swirling them around. It's really fun to do, guys. So I really hope that you join in and create some coasters for your own self. Now we get our torch and we want to pop all of the bubbles. We use the torch when you don't want to move the resin, but when you want to move the resin, you use a heat gun. So it's up to you, whatever you prefer. But I like the torch so that it doesn't move around too much. You can keep that same swirl effect and it'll be nice and beautiful for when we add the waves. And here I am just making sure all the blue is around the edges so there's no more clear showing. I just want to make sure that each coaster um, is torched effectively and is nice and beautiful and stays the same. 
Now, another thing about that is that no two coasters will be the same. Resin is fluid. It has a mind of its own. So no two coasters will look exactly alike. That's the beauty in resin, I find. Now for the fun part, guys. We're going to get our titanium white from Golden Acrylics and drizzle it using a spoon to create waves. We're going to take our time and make these beautiful wave effects on each coaster. And we're going to do the same for the following two coasters as well. And here we are just making waves across the shoreline. Next what we did, well what I did, <laughs> next what I did is that I used the heat gun to blow the waves out and in on the shoreline. So as you can see, it's on low heat. So we're taking our time and we're blowing it away from the shoreline. You know how the waves go in and out across the shore? It's, I'm giving that kind of effect to each coaster. So we started off with the middle one, then we're going to the one on the far right, on the far left, and we're blowing it in. I'm pulling it down a little bit so it can pull in better. But as you can see, the lines are moving and it's giving the effect that it's waves, you know? So here we are making our beach coasters. And this is the, basically the final part. It, it's pretty much it, and you let it cure for 24 hours. But I think it's an okay job. I, I think I did an okay job. I'm excited. I, I'm happy to see where this resin art experience goes because I really love making them. still blowing with the heat gun making sure it has a desired effect that I wanted next we're going to do basically the same type of procedure for the beach coasters except this time I did not add the clear resin at the bottom it does give a different effect so the first thing I did was add some of that sand you know the ghost gold pearl from black diamond pigments then I added in the Bora Bora blue and finally the golden indigo this is a geode mold I got this off Amazon um it's my last one, unfortunately, because the other set broke. I used it too much, I guess. But you can always get more on Amazon. I'm looking for more private-owned sites. So once I find them, I'll send the link. But for right now, I'm just using Amazon to get my molds. So now I'm adding the Sunstorm Gold Fire Glass and well as the Crushed Seashells. And I'm going to use a spoon to bury it under the sand because when you do the mold, it, it basically does it upside down. Like so what you're seeing to the top here is the back side of the mold. So what you're trying to do is get it so that you can see it at the bottom, which is the top. <laughs> so you're just trying to get it under the sand so that you can see it from the front.
So we're burying the seashells and the fire glass. Next, we're going to come in with more Bora Bora Blue to fill in the gaps on the sand. So it has a nice consistent waves, um, ocean waves on the seashore as well. And we're just using a spoon to drizzle it on. And we're using a spoon to make sure it's nice and mixed in. We're going to use that same spoon and swirl in the golden indigo. So there's depth in the shoreline, there's depth in the in the far end of the coaster it looks like a real beautiful swirling effect i think that's my favorite part of resin just mixing it up and seeing what comes out but that's just me so now we drizzle on the titanium white to create the waves i think this one how it came out was like my favorite one out of all of them because probably because it was bigger like the red one the ones in the red mold were deeper so it wasn't really much room to play with but how this is wider and it's it's thinner it gives you much more room to create a beach effect for each coaster now we're getting our heat gun to blow these waves as you can see, it's already moving up. I actually had the heat gun on too high, so that's why it looks like it's sort of muddied, but I'll come back in with more white resin so that we can create more waves. There we go in more resin, just pouring it to fill in the gap. And it looks very foamy, very frothy. So I think it came out well with well execution. So obviously this is a very rough seas. And here we are with our torch again. I got this off Amazon as well. And we're just gonna pop all those bubbles. So it's nice and clear. No bubbles, cause bubbles sort of leave gaps in between. Like once it hardens, it's just a, like a, a little gap in between. It doesn't look very well. So we try to get as much as the bubbles uh, off of it as possible. As you can see what I just did is I burned the resin. We should try to avoid that. So try to move the, the torch around a bit so it doesn't burn the resin. So here are they are hardened in their molds. This is golden and indigo by black diamond pigments. I just wanted to showcase that pigment in itself. But here they are once they're already cured inside the mold. So I took one out and I just said, hey, let me just take a picture with the pigments so we can see exactly which one I used. So the golden indigo is the deeper pigment. And here's the round geode mold. So this is how it looks once it is already cured. Next, we're going to demold it, but we have to show you the rest of the pigments first. So here's golden indigo again, my black diamond pigments. Next, we're going to be showing Ghost Gold Pearl by Black Diamond Pigments. I created this um, islandy beach coaster off camera 
um, I was probably just about to do that and I ran out of storage space on my phone so I couldn't record it. But here is the, I think it's, it reminds me of Nassau in the Bahamas, the island, um, with the beautiful sand on every beach. This Coast Gold Pearl did a perfect execution of the sand here in the Bahamas. And so it just reminds me of an island surrounded by water. I just think it's so beautiful. Next, we have my favorite pigment of all time, Bora Bora Blue by Black Diamond Pigments. It is that beautiful turquoise aqua color you see in the middle of the coaster. I made this mold, this coaster mold also off camera. So here's how that one turned out with the beautiful sand and the waves and the deep ocean. It kind of looks like, like, the like earth from space in a way it, to me like here is just a sandy area and here is the rough seas it just looks like a very cool type of view from space to me i don't know why but yeah <laughs> and i use bore bore blue by black diamond pigments here's another angle so you can look inside to see what the pigment looks like There it is, what it looks like inside. I just think it's such a gorgeous blue for any aqu aquatic experiment or resin project you're gonna do, this is probably the best blue. And it, like I say, it does remind me of the aqua color you'd see in the Bahamas. It's just such a gorgeous color. And it just always reminds me of the beach and the ocean and, and the beach is just here in the Bahamas where I grew up. Next, here's our white for the waves, golden high flow acrylics, titanium white. I just use a few drops of that in resin and you can create your waves once it's mixed in. And man, I just think it's the best white possible next to like cast and craft white, but I love golden high flow acrylics, titanium white. It's just a pure white. <laughs> It's probably one of the best. Um, here we are. I was creating another set of, I, I had to make six coasters in total. So once the first set was demolded, I was able to use the same mold to create them the same way we did before. I just used the sand to the top versus the bottom. And here I am about to do the waves, just drizzling them across the shoreline and trying to keep that same shape for each drizzle across the speech it's sort of fast forwarded but you guys already know how it's done so no worries um but yeah i'm excited to show you this one and i made sure that the heat was on low so they didn't you know fan out too much but here's that last coaster just so you all can see. I poured in some of that ghost gold pearl to the bottom. 
and then followed by this is actually the golden indigo so I'm going to put that in the back and saving the middle piece for the Bora Bora blue like I said I made like probably whew, eight or nine set of coasters with 24 ounces it really depends on the size of your mold and how much resin you use but you should be able to make a lot of coasters with 24 ounces of resin and we're swirling it in so it's a nice beautiful blue adding some white now along the shoreline so the waves can be coming in and now guys here's time for the molding here's the first set of coasters I did I'm at the beach actually I just wanted to have the beach background for you guys um, I went to the Yamakura Beach in the east of Nassau and I just said hey let me pop in quick and get these babies demolded and here they are it's so satisfying to come out here's a closer look at it that has that ripple effect because I added the clear resin so when you don't add the clear resin and I'll show you it doesn't have that same ripple effect but I think they came out cute and they look amazing as beach coasters. They're perfect for any gift. And if you want one, just send me a message at Daylight's Resin Art on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Just send me a message and I'll, or I'll make a set for you. I'm super excited to make more, so let me know. And I'm interested in trying new colors too. But here they are. I think they actually match the beach it, they told you that ghost gold pearl is legit the perfect gold it's a sandy color it's so pretty but here we are closer look at the molding taking our time and popping it out here we go i think it's so pretty how it looks in the sunlight and I'm just excited to show you all how it came out. So those are the first three I took out, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video it's not done yet but continue watching I'm gonna now show you pictures of oh we're gonna show you some more demolding okay so now we're going to demold that geode mold um, taking our time to take it out as you can see all the fire glass are at the top it's so pretty and you can really see the waves in it so it gives a nice it's a beach coaster like i love it and so this one doesn't have that clear we didn't pour the clear resin at the bottom so it doesn't have that bristle effect but it shows it showcases a lot of the seashells and a lot of the fire glass at the top of it and i just love this one i think this one's my favorite honestly i just love it so much Look at that. Beautiful. Doing the round coaster that I did off camera. Well, I started to do it. But here it is. I think it's so pretty. I love how it's just... It, I don't know it's just so pretty to me like it looks legit like the speech in the background um I just love how oh, this one came out really simple it wasn't much I didn't use fire glass for this one so this is how it looks without the seashells and fire glass but I still think it's really nice it looks like how it looks from space and I just can't remove that feeling the back is really plain and simple but if you're going for a more elegant simple 
touch it's really pretty and i love how it has two sides to it so moving on here's the one i said looked like an island in the middle of the sea um we're demolding it now and i think it came out really nice let me show you we're almost there and voila oh it actually fell so <laughs> bear with me i have to dust off the the excess dirt off the rat coaster but i think it came out nice it's a real simple um it's uh, one side has more sand and the other it's, just, it's really how you pour the resin because it, like i said no two coasters come out looking alike each one is always different but it looks so amazing in sunlight like that's shine for each coaster is so pretty here we are at another coaster we're demolding these are the extra ones i did off camera so i'm just showing you how they all look once you repeat the same steps you can make different looks to each coaster so the back side the front side of it has a lot of sand so this reminds me of like a sandbar in exuma bahamas like when you walk from one island to the next i just love it just give me that feel i just love the ghost gold pearl it's like exactly what the sand looks like here where i live and i just love sharing that information with you all here they are the first three with that beautiful ripple effect you can really see the fire glass and the seashells in the top part of it i think it's so gorgeous I just love every part of it. Here's another angle. And with another angle I just love how it looks in the sunlight it just truly shines and it, it literally matches the beach in the background so I had to get a picture of that the ghost gold pearl sand and the seashells and the fire glass and that or bar bar blue and golden indigo really matches the ocean in the background and I just love how it looks in this picture Here's the back side of those three. Um, I think it really looks like 
she's I don't even know like um, beach um, explosion bonanza <laughs> that's the only thing that comes to mind I just love how everything just looks so sparkly and glimmery and it's just really pretty to me but tell me what you think of these coasters um, once we're done looking at all of the pictures of the beach, we're going to add the gold leaf around it, and then I'll show you the final, final look once that's done. So here they are. Here's another photo of them. More sunlight in the photo. I just love this photo I just love how all these coasters came out but please tell me your feedback I'm excited to know I'm excited to learn from you let me know what you think I should do next time or how I can add to these to make them even more pretty or more exciting just let me know I'm, all, I'm open to all feedback Here's the geode coaster, um, a side view with the shore and the beach and the actual beach. <laughs> I think it matches it so well. I definitely the golden indigo for the far out part of the water. It shows the depth of the ocean. I just love that. I love everything about this particular coaster. I love how the fire glass and the seashells just pop at the top. It's just so pretty to me. Here's a more close-up look at it and with the sun shining on the coaster here you can see how the fire glass shines in the sunlight Here's the back side of the geode coaster. Some gems are poking out, but I don't mind it because there's still a lot of space for a cup or a bottle or something to go on it. But I love how the waves came out. They came out even better than I planned. And they just really show like different depths. I, I just love it so much. I love how the waves are coming onto the shore and how they are in the ocean and it really is like the perfect beach coaster to me. I love the front, I love the back, I love the fire glass, I love the seashells, I just love how this one came out in particular. Here's the front of it again. It has a close-up view. I love it. 
I, just, I mean, let me know how you guys feel about it, but I really love making these. I think they're stunning. I think they're an example of what the beach looks like here in the Bahamas. And you will literally find seashells. There won't be fire glass on the beach, but you'll find many, many seashells here. Maybe some ambergris or some something a pearl or conch pearl something really valuable here but it's just my rendition of the beach coasters here in the bahamas Here's another coaster. Um, this one reminds me like the tongue of the ocean for some reason. Just how that sand has a little tongue shape and then the waves go around it. And especially with that sunlight hitting, you can really see how shiny it is and how pretty it is. And it's really gorgeous to me. I think these are elegant and elegant touch to any home. Or even if you just want to feel like you have a beachy atmosphere inside your home, these coasters are perfect for you. Um, so don't be afraid to has don't hesitate to send me a message at Daily Horizon Art on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok. Any one of them will be fine. You can also email at me at daylightshorizonart at gmail.com. If you want to know more information or if you have any questions on how to make them or which resin to buy or which products to use, I'm, I can help you and share my experience, what I've done so far, and help you add to, with your resin journey. So I hope this video really helps you out if you want to learn more or learn how to make resin coasters or keychains or anything really it's all simple it's just step by step process and once you get the, the basics down pack it, you're good to go and once they demole it's just such a treat to have or you know it's always good to create something that makes you feel better once it's done and that's what i love about art i love that i can always just create and i always have the power to create you know, it just makes me feel happier as a person. Here's the back side, the front part of that. It reminds me of a sandbar in any of the islands in the Bahamas and Keys. We have 700 plus islands and they're mostly um, non-populated. So here's what it, this reminds me of Ixuma when I would go with my grandfather and my cousins and we'd go picking cocoa plums on another island. We'd walk across the sandbar and that just really reminds me of that.
I love this coaster especially because this is the one that reminds me of the view from space. How the thick lines of the waves and it just looks like it's moving and it's so just beautiful to me. That ghost gold pearl really shines in this one as well as the waves which is titanium white. But everything about this coaster is just so pretty to me. Like I just love making these beach coasters so much. And now we're going to use some um, the Mona Lisa, the adhesive pen, and we're going to gold leaf around the coasters so that it can have a finished look, uh, antique look. Here, or here's the pen. First, we shake it up, make sure that the liquid is flowing, and we get a coaster. Press it down, and you rub and just basically use it as a pen and get the glue, the adhesive all around the coaster so that it'll dry for five minutes and then you apply the gold leaf. But I'm all prepped and I'm all ready to go. So let's get started. So we're gonna use that adhesive pen all around it and we're going to make sure that it's fully covered. There are any gaps. And we're going to take our time to do that for each coaster. It has to dry for from five to ten minutes. So it's a nice sticky feel. And then we can apply the gold leaf to it. I got the gold leaf off of Amazon. Just any metal leaf they have it in silver leaf they have rose gold as well so it's really up to you and what you like just making sure that every part has some of that adhesive on it press it down and on to the next one same procedure with the adhesive pen so now I already started this one so I'm just gonna make sure that I add more to it rub it on take your time with this so you don't have any gaps and then we're gonna get our big brush and brush off the excess um, gold leaf from it And there you go. It's quite simple to do. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, and it's really shiny and it looks really professional and really pretty. And I just love the final look, you know. Gonna take some more of that gold leaf. All of that in that blue silicone mat is going to be reused so none of the gold leaf ever goes to waste you just constantly use it over and over again i'm going to get our big brush and brush off the excess now Here I am taking off the excess resin, the excess gold leaf, sorry. We're going to take our time, make sure it's shined to the best of our ability. Nice and clean, everything sticking to it. And now here they all are front and back oh I think it's so nice when it's lined up like that there it is front and back 
side to side. Here's the gold leaf brand that I bought. It's called Imitation Gold Leaf. And there how it looks inside. So here they all are lined up. I think they're so pretty. I'm so proud of myself. Pats on back. I think such a, I did such a great job doing these coasters. Just making sure they're all the excess gold leaf is off of all of them. And you're pretty much done. Now it's almost time for the big reveal. And I'll show you that in just a few minutes. And here is the last one. Just gonna add all the gold leaf to it as well. So that it's all around the edges. Take off the excess with a really coarse, thick brush. So make sure it's finely clean. Here's my mom asking me, hey, what are you doing? And she's just watching me do it. So everyone can say, hey mom. And here we are taking pictures of our final piece. I love everything about it. It's perfect for any home decor. If you have some blues or some green curtains or a blue wall or, and you just wanna make it a real nice beachy atmosphere, these are the coasters for you. I just love them so much. I think I did a great job. So let me know if you like it. Thumbs up, like, share, follow. It's up to you. I just want your support. Um, or if you want me to make a set for you, these are, a, I can make a set for you for $60. I can do a set of four, six, or eight for you. And here we are just looking at it in the sunlight. It's really nice. I love the ripple effect, especially. Here's the side with the gold leaf. I think it gives a real antique rustic look to it. So it looks really nice. Like, and I use the, the scattered gold leaf. So it's like a, a scrunchy type of fact versus just the flat regular paper gold leaf. So I think it gives a different look as well. Here's the second one. The back of it I think it's really pretty let me know what you think here's the third one you can really see those reflective pieces in it it gives a really shiny effect and I use Sunstorm Gold Fire Glass. That's the one you're looking for. It's by Celestial. It's a really good brand to use and it never disappoints me whenever I'm using it. Here's the back of it. Let's look at another one. I left some of that gold leaf on the top of it. I just love it, how it gives a rustic, I don't know, it's just like a olden type feel. I just love how it looks on there. 
Some say it's messy. I think it's pretty cool how it looks really nice on there. I love these gold pieces in it. And I just think this such I think it's one of my best set of coasters I've ever made. And I just put so much love and happiness into them. So I, I love making them. Here they are. Here they are again. Okay, everyone. So thank you for watching. Thank you on behalf of Daylight Resonar. I'm Dana once again. Thank you. I hope you enjoy this video. For the rest of the video will be pictures of the reveal of the coasters. So I'll just show you different angles back and front, different mixes up, you know, and I just want to hope I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you go home and you try some on your own. I hope that you give me a thumbs up, a like, a follow, a share, and I really hope you enjoyed this video thoroughly. So comment below, let me know if you like it, let me know if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed the process. Be sure to follow Daylight's Resin Art um, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And be sure to follow, there'll be more. So take your time, sit back, enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much for watching once again, and have a really, really beautiful day today. Thank you.